What up YouTube, Bonza here, I'm back with another video. This is going to be part 18 I believe now. So yeah, I know, back to back episodes of Elder Kings 2. I wanted to give you guys this treat because I've been sort of pushing back these episodes for a long time now to sort out so many other issues with my computer as well as in life, preparing for school like I said in the previous episode. Anyway, as you can recall from the previous episode, I couldn't create the Head of Fate title for our character, so I had to do some work in the developer mode to make that possible, which I was able to figure out a way to do that and so yeah that's gonna happen in this episode and we're gonna try and stabilize our kingdom moving forward because I noticed that a lot of our territory is still following our old religion which actually does have penalty for us but yeah there's going to be that as well as worrying about the looming threat of House Harlu and the rest of the darkness so yeah with that let's jump right into the episode okay guys so uh, back into it now so yeah, I uh, managed to fix that issue of us not having any of the holy sites and I did it by going using developer mode to go throughout the map and pick out specific locations where I made holy sites for us. So I stripped some of the original owners of the land and then I well, gave it back to them or that the kid like in this case here. So this, if you could, all can recall, Belketh is where we originally started and so this is going to be the, this was the first holy site that I made, I even started constructing the building already. So that's one there and then the second one I decided to make the capital of the Empire of uh, Hammerfell our uh, uh, next holy site so Hellgate uh, for whatever reason though we can't seem to use the holy site here but Hellgate is also our holy site so if you can see we have two now now I can't yet create the head of faith of title one because oh yeah I need to own uh, one of the holy sites myself, but that's fine. I'll just concentrate our actual capital of the uh, Empire, Cyrodiil Empire, into uh, a holy site as well. And then from there, I'll be able to reform the thing. So something else happened while I was doing all that. Uh, a bit of time ran by and I wasn't in control of Esan at the time because I was doing all that with the other guys. And he wound up getting married to a lowborn Clovian, Queen Vera. I don't know why. Uh, I am not happy with this marriage. I kind of want to divorce this woman. I don't know how or why he would marry her. But anyway, yeah, that happens. So, yeah, I'm going to consider divorcing her at some point. I want to marry, well, someone very specific. Because while I was messing around, I found a particular character. And I want our next character to be able to form the, get the, uh, the blood father trait. And I noticed that there was a robust orc woman out there so yeah this is going to be our main wife so i'm gonna uh, send a marriage proposal to her and uh yeah Beth betrothal because yeah she's still 14 but uh, yeah you know keeping in touch with the, the family legacy of liking orcs <laughs> we'll go for that so that's that. Uh, yeah, as for this woman, I seriously want to divorce her. Did she convert? She should convert. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, factions. I noticed that there was a lot of... Oh no, it's not right now. But yeah, we might have to deal with... Because a lot of our land is... Currently, Maroon's Dagon, and even the people that own the land are Maroon's Dagon as well. So that's going to be a problem to deal with. Let's just uh, take a look at this uh, religion, not Maroon's Guard, I should say. Sorry, and vassals. Yeah. So look at all of this. Is a republic. See, these, like, these are vassals of vassals, I suppose. Ooh, I can't really convince this woman. She's zealous, too. She wants me to pay her. Not really worth it, but whatever. Yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna do that again. That was kind of a waste. Oh, yeah, this woman is still here. No revoke her Ah, yes, and I guess while I wasn't in control, this guy went ahead and... 
Is she are they lovers? No, they're not lovers. So it was just a, a fling, apparently. So yeah, consequences of leaving this guy for too long. All right, I'm going to remove cultural uh, title revocation and grant this, and then immediately revoke the title. Yeah, because I do not want to revoke these titles and then give them back. Yes, thank you. Good. And then this woman revoke her title. Uh, let's see. Come on. Okay, good. She's gone. And then the last one is this guy. Let's see if he goes as well. So at least now we have all of the land. Uh, oh, this guy wants to fight, eh? We're still yet to give this kingdom away, but I wanted to, you know, completely cleanse it of these undesirables before uh, giving away the kingdom. Oh, and that reminds me, I don't think I've formed the Empire of Nibane yet, right? Yeah. Well, we'll do that after this little cleanup. Uh, we're going to keep going down the theologian path and try to grab the uh, theologian trait. Because I feel like it's thematic, right? Like this character is, he's kind of like a religious reformer type character with, you know, all of these things. So, you know, I felt it'd be thematic for him to complete the theologian chart. By the way, I'm not going to be looking at the camera that often during this episode because, yeah, I figured I was pretty too dark and I have to use my light and, yeah, the light is fucking up my eye. Uh, my eyes are going to be really sore at the end of this episode. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well. Alright. So that's done. I'm going to revoke this title. Okay, so uh, this is all one duchy, right? Yeah. Keep giving land to our people. Alright, so. Oh no! I should have given that land to. Yeah. The heir of my kinsman. That was a mistake on my part, yeah. Oh, well, I can still do right by him. So let's just tidy up this place. So I want to make sure that, you know, the, the guy who who's currently going to be king of this place, I want to make sure his line is secure. So I'm going to give some territory to his heir. I like to do that, you know, make sure that my, you know, the people that I land, make sure that they hold on to the land for a decent amount of time. So to do that, you... Because I think he has a... Uh, oh, my God. What is this? Some random woman has her husband, who is my kinsman, in prison. I don't really care about this. Okay, Let's pick up a right dish. All right, one of you, I will send after them, and the other one will go siege them. So you go deal with them. Kind of unnecessary. Okay. Uh, that is for. I mean, yeah, we're gonna win this one now after we take that. Ah, uh, no, I don't actually give you away. Uh, I mean, I don't actually care about that, <laughs> so I'm not gonna give away my cat. Over some woman that I randomly picked up. Mm, screw that. Ah, there we go. This is the one I actually want to marry. Okay. So, oof, this guy already has it? Really? Damn, I was originally going to give this away to someone else, but... Nah, I guess I've got no choice now. So yeah, sorry dude, I did- no, no, no. You know what? Actually, no. Actually, no. 
Which one did you air him? You give him what he can take. Yeah, he can't, he can't hold that. And then... You can get that, I guess. Alright. So now I'll give you the kingdom of... Uh, Lewilan or some shit. We're entitled... Kingdom of Lewilan. Congratulations, bud. There you go. Alright, now I think I should create the Clovian Estates, uh, Nibane, right? And that's gonna create a event, right? That's gonna change stuff. Sundering Undone, yes. As Abatris, this guy, attempted to stabilize Cyrodiil, failed. The two halves have been halved into Clovian Nibane and have further estranged himself. Years have passed, and while many thought open war between the two halves of the provinces would never happen, fate decided that home of the Cyrodiilx should be unified peacefully? But I wouldn't say that. Historically, a rising empire at the heart of Tamriel meant only one thing, invasion and annexation of the surrounding territories. It remains to be seen if this would be the case this time also. Okay. Uh, is that just the same thing? Yeah, it's sort of. And... Bang. There we go, we are now Cyrodiil. Alright. So yeah, uh... Oh yeah, let's keep going down. And uh... We got a new counselor we gotta get. And I think, uh... What I really wanna do is... Become the head of fate. And in order to do that... I have to consecrate my capital, which requires that I have money and more piety. Alright, I need money and more piety. Can I host a grand right? Yes, I can. Scheming? Eh. Oh, wait, hang on. I do want to seduce my, my orc wife. Eh. I feel like I should divorce this woman, yeah. You know what, you kept us comfort all this time, but uh, now that we're married to somebody we actually wanted, oh fuck no, really? You're not worth it. Yeah, we're gonna murder her. We'll seduce you though. Oh wait, let's convert you first. Yeah. And seduce, oof. Really? Even after I took that trait? Uh, let's just try it anyway. Hopefully we can earn her affection or whatever. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, I was gonna... Yeah, these guys... One of my vassals declared war to conquer this place, but then I guess they failed. If I declare any wars, I'm gonna wind up using my piety, which I need right now. Oh yeah, uh... Very close to her mother. Gaining favor with my help. I will get whatever she asks for. Pay off her loans. Uh, we're, we're gaining money at a decent rate, so I can spend money. It's piety. Oh, really? She didn't care about that? Dang, okay. Oh, we have a holy order now. I'm glad I didn't have to found that myself. She's shy, she's temperate. She enjoys things in moderation. I think she really likes us, right? Yeah. 100, so that should do. So what's that up to now? Oh shit! Would you look at that? Oh no, that's to murder. Mm, this one is... Oh, this guy. A spy master. It's pretty good actually, 20. Uh, yeah, well, I think she's pious, right? Because, I mean, she's not really that pious, but she does have a, a virtue, so I'm gonna go for that. <gasps> no! Shit! Ah, <sighs> well, we'll see what happens. Ah, yes, you. Goodbye. 
Nice. Now we don't have to worry about her. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, this guy wants... Hmm. Tower, town of Farmer Nook. Where is that? Do I own that directly? Town of Farmer Nook. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. So we, we have a holy order now that we can call upon. Mm, this makes me tempted to declare war on House Haralalu. Oh my fucking god, 70,000? Are you kidding me? It's insane. Oof. We gotta, we gotta weaken these people, honestly. I need to form like an alliance or something to take on this fucking Dark Elves or whatever. Elsewhere? You don't have kids or anything? I'm just like surrounded by elves that I don't like. Can I? Maybe, 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 since I can't take them on, maybe I go after these guys for a while, right? Yeah, 17,000, they're no match for us. So maybe I go after the guys in Elinor for a while, and then later we can take on Harlalo. Because we are nowhere near being able to take these guys on with Harlalo. It's really fucking annoying, but they are just too powerful for us. It sucks not being able to declare war. Oh, finally she's pregnant. But yeah, we we got to be patient right now. So yeah, I think we'll, maybe I'll have to fast forward a bit. Because, oh, mother died. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I had to give away Choro. And that means taking away land from my mother, which I originally captured. And I gave it to this woman. So that's why we don't own any land here anymore. Also, our mother was uh, disinherited, so to speak. Damn. It's so much we have to change. Ooh, dangerous faction. See, this is... Look at that. What the fuck is this shit? Two weeks, huh? Ah, oh, really? No. Definitely not gonna have this guy be out here. Definitely not. Come on. Yeah, we want someone who has like everything. So that was bad luck on that kid. Damn, we need something to happen here. Who they are like with? Bunny as well. Oof. Damn, I can't even. Why not? I need to specialize in murder, I think. So weird. You know what? Fine. I need a friend right now there. Maybe I'll use you. And actually, you should be converting culture for God's sake. I have to another grinder right now. Oh yeah, shit. How are things? Damn it. Personal skin. What are your innovations currently? Oh, I should host a feast. Oh, master's field. 
What is this? Damn it, I'm trying to lose stress, not gain stress. Ah, uh, wait, I don't want to get Pickle Bridge, so I shouldn't... Shouldn't do that often. Ooh, gore. Ah! Damn it, why couldn't she be the one? Hmm. Great. Scientific, and then we'll probably get pedigree, and then we'll move on from here. Uh. Yeah, you're not gonna be our heir. I'll educate you for now. Ooh! Yes! Monthly piety. Thank you. Yeah, you. Prayers. There we go. Damn, oh, finally we have a thousand. Okay, consecrate our capital. My goodness, that took freaking forever. <sighs> so now what this woman is. So now we just need another two fifty and we can form head of faith. Damn, this uh, episode is a lot of waiting. All right, so now we can switch to something else. Um, I want to have more kids. I also want to declare war on people. I'm just going to go for Marshall because I want to focus on war now. But we're gonna hope that the Grand Rights can help us gain a few of these other uh, other traits that we might need. Oh my goodness. Wow, another good one, but she's a female. Okay, I'm starting to <laughs> partially regret the whole male air thing. Who is this? Oh. No. It's a chance to reduce stress right there, so I'm gonna take it. Signet. Why am I not wearing that? Oof. Let's go mission some body armor. Oh wait, for some reason I can't seem to commission artifacts. I forgot about that. I mean artifacts the custom way. Ah, somebody else wants an alliance. Well this is good I guess. So we have 50,000 troops. Plus 10,000 plus 5,000, right? So we have, oh no, he's just got, god damn it. So we can kind of match up to these guys now. Hmm. Yeah. Now nah, let's go after them instead. Ah, oh, for freak's sake. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm on Marshall Trail. Focus now, so I should be able to gain the martial trait and then go after them. Oh, lay ground for holy delay. Ah, for fuck's sake, man. Everything fucking costs piety at this point. Everything important to me, at least. Alright. Okay. So let's end this episode off by declaring war on Eleanor. Yeah, they don't stand a chance, right? We've got way too much gold for them to handle. Yeah.
And uh, yeah. They're not gonna be able to do shit. You can probably even get the holy on it. Jesus. I think we should find another wife. Honestly, at this point. Kind of unfortunate that our. Uh, Hail. Yeah. There weren't any other of these types of women around before, so. I won't seduce this new wife. I'm just gonna hope my main wife eventually gives me a son I can use. Oof, how much gold it costs just to move my troops. would like to be gaining more stress so I'm gonna gain stress to gain more stress <laughs> gain less sorry gain less stress I should say where's the uh, oh there it is I think they finally arrived yeah Pretty good hey shit they're gonna ah they I need to end this war quickly. No, no, no. Let's let's be patient. Let's be patient. Ah, fuck it, shit. No. See, this is why I should have been patient. my allies? Yeah, I guess I should just call my allies in. Go to... Just so, like, you know, they can handle stuff that... What? Why did you propose we be friends, then? Well, I'll try and sway you. That's kind of stupid. Really? Well, get fucked. Ah, you bastards. Commander was wounded. Oof. Ooh, fine addition. All right. We gotta heal. What were we going for again? Reinforcing congenital traits.
convincing that guy. Again, our oak ally came to help us, which is good. The wife's pregnant again, proper wife. Come on, yes. Okay, I think we're pretty close now. Are we? Please, please hurry up. Ooh. Oh no! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go with one of my daughters. Because all of my sons seem to be turning out pretty bad. Just that one daughter who is pretty good. Uh, no, I can't. Not with this guy. Yeah, this is really unfortunate there. Off to the whole house. Hopefully I don't. No! No! <sighs> yeah. That's what happens. You go to the whole house one too many times and you catch it. Finally. Whew. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to make one of my daughters my heir. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Definitely not this kid. So he gets disinherited. I guess I'll make him king of this place. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me that. Yeah, I feel like, where is she? I might have to make this one my daughter. Ah, uh, my heir. So, yeah. Give all those first hold to... Uh, son of mine. Where is he? What the hell? I can just give to. I guess we'll give them to some local elves. And you can have them as vessels. There you go. Okay, guys. I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. At least we gained some power after all of that mess. And uh, yeah. We might continue taking out Eleanor actually, and then eventually when we're powerful enough, come back around and get rid of these. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. They, they are gonna be a big problem to deal with. If I can get an alliance with elsewhere, maybe I can use them. Yeah. Maybe get that diplomacy perk that does that. But that's gonna be in the future. For now, thank you all very much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Bonsai, signing out. Catch you all later.